Hello, this is Jeremy Blevins, SCADA Supervisor with Whiting Petroleum Corporation. Joining me today is Damian Clark, SCADA Developer. Whiting Petroleum is an exploration and production company with assets located in remote areas with harsh weather conditions. Utilizing Grafana, the company has been able to adopt a more data-driven operations model to manage their industrial processes. This has increased efficiency and most importantly, safety. In this talk, we will address adoption of the tool, business use cases, democratization of the data, and the future of Grafana at Whiting. Our core assets are located mainly in North Dakota, with some in Northern Colorado. There are approximately 600 sites similar to the one you see on the slide, and they're spread out over vast areas. Each location has several wells, and the equipment to process, measure, and store the oil and natural gas produced from the wells. The animation in the top right is a rod pumping unit. It is quite simple using a rod to lift the product up the well bore. Although this image may be the most widely recognized image of an oil well, there are many methods to lift the product. So, Oil and gas is produced from the well. Equipment then separates the liquids from the gas. Liquids flow to storage tanks and gas is sold via pipeline. One important piece of equipment on each site is the flare. This serves to release gas pressure from the system in emergency situations. The gas is incinerated in the flare to reduce emissions. Historically, daily visits are made to each site by a lease operator. It is a lease operator's job to collect data and perform inspections or maintenance on equipment. The lease operator interacts with many disciplines across the organization to ensure the proper performance of each asset. It is very important that they are well informed and connected. SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. It allows us to communicate with our assets and then store and utilize the field-generated data. In the past, our operations relied on a control room-centric model. In this model, data is accessed by few and was largely manually collected. The control room acts as a central hub for monitoring assets. When issues arise, field personnel are dispatched or notified by the control room. Oftentimes, a misalignment of priorities and visibility of asset data creates inefficiencies in this system. One such example is when myself and a lease operator were dispatched to another site by the control room to check on a flare. As we were leaving the current site, a quick check of the flare data in SCADA indicated that the issue had already corrected itself completely saving us a trip to that other site. These type of inefficiencies were a very common occurrence in our operations, so the business had a real need to increase efficiency of the field personnel. One way our team saw to achieve this was to provide the asset data directly to the lease operator and clear any communication bottlenecks. And then we ask ourselves, why shouldn't everyone in the entire organization not have access to the data generated by our assets. So we began work to develop tools that allowed anyone or any application to access and understand the data. Today, the old model is mostly intact. However, now data is transferred out of our SCADA networks to our corporate networks where it can be utilized by all. Personnel now have reporting and analytics self-service capabilities and we continue to integrate more data to other applications. We currently deliver 6,000 data points that were previously hand collected daily by the lease operators to their field data gathering application and an additional 1,000 readings to the environmental health and safety reporting application. We also publish roughly 60,000 tags to our visualization and analytics tools. Delivering 60,000 data points in a time series format to hundreds of personnel was going to be no small task. 
We started with a short list of predefined needs. The tool needed to be easy to use and accessible by all. We needed it to have alerting capabilities so the customer could set parameters and manage their assets by exception. Also, multiple data sources would unlock more powerful analytic capabilities as we began to look at operational data and other data generated by the organization. Our users are typically in the field, so we needed mobile capabilities. We also wanted to be able to quickly build and deploy solutions for our users. So, Grafana was suggested by a consultant. Adoption of the tool was going to be a major challenge. We knew there would be certain things to focus on for a successful implementation. The users needed to drive development of the dashboards to create ownership in the tool. Building trust in the technology would also be crucial. This could be managed by providing an easy to use application with timely user support. Our team implemented Grafana and began working to develop the tool to fit our organization's needs. Damien here. As Jeremy was saying, we struggled identifying the best methods to utilize the data that was being collected and the best method to visualize equipment performance. Ultimately, we focused on providing the data to the relevant parties for the biggest benefit. Our initial dashboard construction was, and still is, made to benefit our field operatives. We've set up dashboards to monitor emissions release equipment and flare equipment to increase our environmental conservation efforts. We also started monitoring inventories in the amount of production made, and through this, we've been able to increase our company efficiencies. Additionally, we've benefited from introducing alerting and thresholds in Grafana. By increasing the audience receiving alarms to include personnel in charge of taking corrective actions, production became more efficient. For example, the slide depicts a control room alarm for a high tank fluid level being triggered. Like the example Jeremy mentioned, prior to our dashboards, a lease operator would need to immediately route themselves to the site to check that things are operating properly. However, with our increase in visualization, it becomes easier for the lease operator to check equipment on the fly. In this example, the lease operator could see that the high fluid level alarm was not a concern as it was a momentary blip in the reading, likely caused by a faulty sensor. Giving our lease operators the visuals with relevant thresholds necessary to prioritize their tasks for the day has freed them up to do more meaningful work rather than sticking to a schedule to visit each site daily. However, despite all of these improvements, we were still struggling with customer adoption. In an old school industry like oil and gas, highlighting inefficiencies in our operations was unwelcome by some. Some groups were excited for the changes this would bring to their workday and the efficiency they gained to do other tasks for the company, while others had fear of being replaced with our increasing monitoring and automation. As a result, a lot of the new dashboards weren't being utilized properly or weren't being utilized at all. In building these visualizations, the company was now more aware of issues that were apparent in the data and in the company's operating philosophy. Despite efforts improving dashboard visualizations, we had an initial adoption resistance. Through updates and improvements using simpler panels and graphics, we were able to get a larger customer buy-in, but we were still missing large portions of the field operations group's interest. Our biggest win in terms of our adoption cycle occurred when we started really getting the field operatives involved in helping to shape these dashboards. Normal development included emails and phone calls, but when we started actually going out to the field and doing ride-alongs as they go through their normal daily site checks, we really started to spark some excitement about things we could include or change in these dashboards to help with their jobs our enthusiasm to help and improve their safety and make them better at their own jobs resulted in them bringing their own ideas to us and that was the point we really started to succeed. Working to improve the dashboards to be tailored to the user base has really helped with adoption. As an example, for historical data use, the graph and table panels are perfect while the gauge panel is handy for non-historical data and was something the user base indicated interest in. Field operations really like the gauges as they are similar to the mechanical gauges used on site. The increased interest in the dashboards helped spark new ideas and innovations within our own team. To deploy dashboards as quickly as possible, Python scripts were used to update the panel JSON on each dashboard. This helped our group dramatically increase the speed required to build new dashboards. 
A typical dashboard could take anywhere from five to eight hours to fully build with all of the panels, metrics, and alerts required when we initially started using Grafana. Using these Python scripts reduced that down to less than five minutes to build a new dashboard and seconds to update one. By being able to build and update dashboards quickly with alerting, we started to see improvements in our company operation management. From a regulatory standpoint, we had more up-to-date alerts that required far less energy to maintain. And from a production standpoint, we had better visuals on company production, updating for new devices when necessary. Through faster development and getting ideas firsthand from the user base, dashboard improvements came faster, which allowed opportunities for field personnel to do more with their day. As oil fields try to become leaner, Grafana has served as a vital tool to enable our lease operators and prioritize what they do daily while helping them avoid safety risks inherent to the job. Over the past two years, Whiting has reduced lease operator staffing by roughly 40%. Becoming more efficient has allowed lease operating personnel to promote within the company or retrain for new roles. In fact, our group later brought on two team members from the field operations group to help with our data pipeline. Grafana has helped to support that reduction in staffing. With faster adoption and development, the company became both more efficient and safer. By removing the need to travel unnecessarily to sites that were operating properly, we limited the need to drive onto location during inclement weather. With the increase in monitoring, lease operators weren't required to climb 20 feet in the air to measure tank fluid level heights. This lowers the risk of falling in addition to the risk of inhaling tank fumes when measuring liquid levels. By working to increase the company efficiency using Grafana, safety was also increased. To further improve dashboard management efficiency and to optimize dashboard usage, more work went into improving the dashboards. With this push to automate these dashboards as much as possible, a lot of our internal data quality issues were highlighted. With over 60,000 real-time data measurements coming through, things such as metric naming inconsistencies, incorrect location assignments, and other more complex issues were more apparent. A lot of time over the last year has been spent improving our backend data quality, which has paid dividends in our current dashboard build processes. Recently, we've moved to an Azure cloud database to improve data latency when loading dashboards and reduce the time between when data is processed from the sensors in the field to when it is actually available for retrieval from our real-time database. This has enabled us to further develop our dashboards. We continue to improve our dashboards by auditing the data regularly adding additional data sources to improve our dashboards, and researching new technologies to support our data ingestion. With improvements in our data quality, Grafana has become a major application and data visualization source at our company, servicing people in several different groups. With further dashboard development, we were able to condense our individual field-specific dashboards, which we had more than 50 of, into a single dynamic dashboard by using variables in Grafana. We still use Python automation to create alert-specific dashboards, but these are now separate from our customer-facing dashboards. Many of our new dynamic dashboards use Grafana variables and database-level stored procedures to maintain the metadata. Using variables, we have some really useful dynamic dashboards aimed at serving more than 200 users within the company. While improving our own real-time data quality internally helped bring greater dashboard usage, Incorporating other corporate non-real-time data brought even more. Grafana's ease of use makes it the ideal visualization tool for quick data diagnostic checks. Our dashboards have turned into a single source of truth for many people within the company using many different data sources. Working to improve the dashboards to be tailored to the user base has further helped with user adoption. Besides the field operations group, we've helped the maintenance and engineering groups by building dashboards that better help field operatives visualize work inspections needed in a more convenient application. By having everything in one location, efficiency has gone up and has turned Grafana into a single source of truth. So what is next for Grafana at Whiting? Well, our operational data was recently migrated to the Microsoft Azure Cloud in an effort to reduce current database costs and utilize the Microsoft suite of products. Although our team will have access to other analytics platforms, Grafana will continue to be our main analytics and monitoring application for operations. Since the general adoption of our Grafana dashboards, we continue to get some great user feedback. 
Some of our users have even adopted the tool for personal use to monitor smart devices at home. I think this is proof positive that the application is effective and easy to use. The oil and gas industry is drastically evolving as we speak. Delivering tools to a customer who has constantly changing needs will continue to be one of our greatest challenges. With constant communication, user support, and Grafana, we hope to evolve our analytics in lockstep with the business. I'd like to thank you all for joining Damien and I today for this talk on industrial process monitoring in petroleum exploration and production. Have a wonderful day.